Good morning. Welcome to spring. Welcome to LU Life Church, your global spiritual community portal. Today's message entitled Spring New Beginnings. Before we start, I have a 26 second song to share with us and it would really be nice if you could join me. I'll tell you the words and you will see how simple it is and this is for spring. An invitation, it starts like this. Come to the place where dreams come true, a life of joy, a place of peace. Come to the place where dreams come true, a life of joy, a place of peace, for here you'll find the answers. It's a beautiful chorus today for spring. Okay, let's see what the voice is like. Come to the place where dreams come true, a life of joy, a place of peace. Come to the place where dreams come true, a life of joy, a place of peace. For here you'll find the answer. Okay, so perhaps you could even do better than me. Let's try it together. Should I read the words again? Come to the place where dreams come true. A life of joy, a place of peace. Come to the place where dreams come true. A life of joy, a place of peace. For here you'll find all your answers. Okay, right, let's join together and make it a beautiful symphony, symphony in our awareness of life and spring. New beginnings for each and every one of us. Okay, let's go. Come to the place where dreams come true, a life of joy, a life of peace. Come to the place where dreams come true, a life of joy, a place of peace. For here you'll find the answer. Well done, you sounded beautifully. You can always go back from time to time and listen to this, can't you? Right. So welcome to spring, the fourth day in April, 2022. We have missed the April Fool's Day. Thank goodness, we are no fools. April, the fourth month in the year of the Gregorian calendar. It's also the first of the four months of only 30 days. April meaning to open, to open up. Perhaps we are told in reference to some plant buds opening in the time of, you know, for this time of the year when buds are opening, perhaps in, in Rome at that time when April was first known. Or maybe in some tradition, it says that April was named after the goddess Aphrodite, um, goddess of the sea's foam. But whatever, you know, today we're still going to take it a little bit deeper and perhaps on a spiritual, metaphysical level, we're looking at it today. Spring, meaning a time of new beginnings, a time of growth, to grow, meaning to go forward. When we go forward, we are creating new positioning for ourselves and for everything we do. This is positive, right? Opposed to reverting or reversing or going backwards or even staying in the same position of rut and stagnation. So April speaks then of positivity, like the little chorus we sang just now it says, a life of joy, a place of peace where dreams come true, a place of hope. So here we are today on the fourth day of April and 
fresh new beginning, an opportunity to refresh new energy in abundance. We talk about abundance. That talks to us about an excellent season to begin a mindfulness approach to life. So by making the decision for new lifestyle, healthier lifestyle, you know, and becoming more aware, that's something that is really, really good to do as we are starting off our new month to make that decision to become a little bit more aware. We call that mindful. We call that living a life, a meditative life where we are always aware. When we are aware, something beautiful happens. You know, we we create rather than get caught in the mistake. I'm sure for many, this might seem a little harder than for others, you know, becoming more aware. You know, they say, oh, you know, I, I tried in January. I, You know, all December, I was looking forward to January. And I set the first day of January on the calendar for change. And it just seems as if the dark of winter is still lingering there with old memories of hurts and fears, just like the winter coming in from December into January, sometime even darker. It seems like those, you know, what do we call them when we make these these words? We say we're going to change our, our ways. And it just seems like the dark of winter is following through. But no, my friend, spring is, yeah, opening a fresh opportunity again for us to grow out and to grow up, to open up. Today, I will lead you. I will lend you the tool that I have used for myself. It's called a tool of transmutation. With transmutation, there is always hope in something new. With this, you can decide, select your decision, and cut and delete forever. Sounds like something on the computer, yes? But we've got to sometimes do that in our soul. And we've got to decide in our mind, these are areas in my life or situation, I, you know, it a little toxic it's not working for me i want a new i want something new i want a new experience can't experience new experience with the same thoughts and doing the same thing so we have to come to that decision don't we and we come to that decision this is the area this is the things we've got to be sure though because the the end result is going to be a permanent deletion so make that decision get you know decide what, what you want to get rid of What's not going to, to work in your new situation? You make that decision. Then you select it. You select it in your mind. You say, this is it. This is this portion on this picture that I no longer want. And what you're going to do, you're going to cut it. And how do we cut it? And we delete it forever. We just say the word. That's right. We say, I transmute. And you say what the, the selection is. For instance, if, if I don't want to eat... Um, certain things that is bad for me. I will say, I transmute this desire to eat blah, 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 um, you know, because it's bad for me. So I transmute this right now from my craving. I transmute this craving for blah, blah, blah. Today, you can name the day. If it's, you're going to do it today, you could say, I make this decision today and I transmute by the power of my word to blah, 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 on the 3rd of the 4th of, sorry, the 3rd of April, I transmute this thing. And you think, well, that's only saying it. Yes. But remember, you've made a decision. You've selected it. And now you are using your words to cut and to put in a permanent um, deletion. Ah, you said, well, I've done that before. Yeah, to end those things that are spoiling and terrorizing your life. And so, but something we haven't done, most people haven't done that. They have yeah, transmuted it. They've written it down. They've ripped a piece of paper, you know, written it on bits of paper. I've seen that done. And they put it in the bin and 
you know, they burn it. They do all type of things. They go to the altar, they cry, they, they make their petitions, supplications. They say they call it repentance. And sometimes these things still seem to arise and take over. So what is missing after we using the tool of transmutation? What most people have not done is to baptize the new space. Because remember now that that is deleted, you are now into a new space. So what you want to do, what we need to do, is to baptize the new space, good, right, and pleasant. You're naming that space, okay? Good, right, and pleasant. So that's taken the place where you had selected, you deleted, and cut. Now you are putting in place that which is good, right, and pleasant. But simple words. Honestly, these simple words work. Your brain is listening, so you can say, um, I now baptize my mind concerning blah, 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 good, right, and pleasant. Those simple words, I now baptize my mind concerning blah, 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 good, right, and pleasant. And that easily erase old, useless memories that were not serving you for any good purpose or for anyone else's, come to think of it. This also cuts you off from guilt and eliminate your tie to perpetrator's mindset. And if you're the perpetrator, it actually cut you off, cut off that mindset, okay? Because often, you know, the universe, the universe then create opportunities to remove them out of your way for good. So when we say the words out, we're actually giving the universe an opportunity, yeah, to automatically remove them out of your way for good or remove you out of their way for good. <laughs> Can you see that? Okay, so let's get back on to this lovely spring message. Spring creates a, a new look, a new look of ways that you can open up for joy. So why not do that? Create... Uh, uh, um, you know, new ways for yourself, how you can open up to joy. How can I do that, you say? By creating new thoughts into that is easy on the mind when something comes up, shift it so that it's easy on your mind or use, use the transmutation, transmutation tool I just loaned you. You can always say that. Um, yeah, by the power of my word, I transmute, da, 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 da. And then you can then say, by the power of my words, I now baptize my mind concerning the things you just um, selected, you decided, selected, and cut and deleted. You can now choose to baptize it. Your mind concerning those things, good, right, and pleasant. It really work. If you thinking, oh, well, that's not going to work, it's not going to work. You haven't tried it before. So why not give it a try? You've got to be giving it a try before you decide it's not going to work. And it won't work if you do not allow faith in. You know, you just, and I'm not talking about religious religions here. I'm talking about faith. Just trust and saying, okay, I'm going to try this. Let me try this. Let me see if it worked for me. <laughs> Rev says it worked for her. It's her tool. Let me see if I can do this truthfully. It's got to be truthfully. You've got to give it a chance and you will see how it works okay so then create lovely thoughts on your mind go easy please okay just go easy on your mind go out in the space of nature it's the season now to go out walk in nature notice the nature's offerings for you nature is offering you new new buds of opening new buds of delight for you to be delighted delight yourself in nature write some new songs write some prose or poetry eat healthy eat healthily sleep earlier so we can wake up earlier go for those nature walks earlier and go for those nature works it walks even a little later then you know what will happen when you go to bed a little earlier and wake up a little earlier the days, the days will now begin to seem longer, more time to enjoy, right? Now, another way 
the spring and these new decisions and new opportunities is to laugh more. You say, well, what am I going to laugh about? Let me tell you, share you another tool here, another skill I use. I remember once I had to kickstart my happiness. Okay, there was some stuff happening and I'm normally a happy soul. I'm telling you from now, I've just got a happy template. But things, you know, there was just so much things going on around, outside and around me. It was trying to affect and having a little impact on my inner happiness, my inner joy springs. And so what I had to do, I had to kickstart my happiness. And how did I do that? I know it's going to sound silly, but I'm going to share it anyway. I kickstart my happiness by watching back-to-back children's comedy movies. Why children comedy movies? Because they were innocent. There was no murder and swearing and, you know, and all that debauchery, whatever. Yeah, unpleasant scenes. It was just so funny. And it was, so it was uh, mainly you, you know, the you, I'm not sure in other countries what the low um, rating is where, you know, you know, it's good for a child, a young child to watch. And I watched back to back, back to back. I was laughing so much. I'm telling you, my, even in my sleep, I would wake up laughing. The next morning, I would wake up laughing. I only did that for two days, back to back, yeah? When I have to work and, you know, instead of having that, you know, I did my meditation, did my reading, did all the things I had to do. But I took that space, instead of worrying and letting all those things come in the space, I did that and I kickstart my happiness. And you can do it too. It got me laughing. It got my happy juices flowing. So here we are. April, a month of much awareness for pain. When I looked at all the awareness days, which I'll be putting up um, the awareness days on my website. And for those of you who don't know about the website that I sort of change every month and give people an idea of some of the awareness days coming up, not all, but I give people an awareness. It's called The Magnificent Way. Yeah, www.themagnificentway.com. That's one of the website. The other website is peacemakerspriorpatrol.com. And there I put up, you know, I change it each month to put the awareness days that people um, can be aware of some of the days. Um, I know that Ramadan started um, on the 1st and we know that it's spring day. And we know this month is going to be Easter, St. George's Day. Um, But a lot of the days, what I noticed, there was much awareness for pain around suffering, you know, included a crucifixion. But what is wonderful about spring, as I say, it's a time of hope and newness and refreshing. It's also a time that speaks to us about fresh hope. Okay. And... um, I believe, yes, in one of the days, there's actually coming up a National Day of Hope, which I will post here later on. Uh, yeah, so a day of hope, a day of that speaks to us about resurrection. It's, I believe that's, yeah, one of the days after Easter, it speaks to us of resurrection, which really meaning a time of possibility, a time of rebirth, a time of rebirth and being made new, a time of refreshing. So, happy Easter. Sorry, what am I saying Easter? I'm just talking about Easter and I'm saying Easter. Happy spring to you, my friend. I pray for new, fresh pathways and opportunity for us all. That is my prayer as I close our segment off today. Went on a little longer than I would like to, but just to wish you all a happy April and a happy spring. And may we... Could we just um, finish here by our chorus that we sang? And maybe it's an invitation. Could it be an invitation? You inviting your inner self, your inner situation, come to the place. So let's finish off together with this. Come to the place where dreams come true, a life of joy, a place of peace. Come to this place where dreams come true, a life of joy, a place of peace. For here you'll find the answer. I hope you find your answers this week.
This is Reverend Dr. Donicia Palmer signing out. If you would like to donate to our channel, you can do so by clicking in the description box below. There's a PayPal, PayPal link there, or you can go directly to the PayPal website and make any kind donation out to lulifechurch at gmail.com. Leave us a thumbs up, pass this message on to somebody else to encourage them to hope and to give them an opportunity to use some of those skills to transmute and to baptize and to make new. Leave your comments. They're always very welcome and so appreciated. They do bless us and encourage us. Thank you. This is, as I say <laughs> before, the Reverend Dr. Donisi Palmer signing out. Bless you.